guys, it's your girl Ashley. You're getting like multiple videos for me tonight. Um, I want to come in here and address this because I know a lot of people use fake nails or they go to a nail salon. And I've been really embarrassed to admit this and to sit down and have a group, have a group discussion with you guys. But I feel like it needs to be talked about because I haven't, when it happened to me, I thought something was really bad. I was scared. I was nervous. Um, and there was really not much on the internet, so I went on online and looked, and it was a very common thing to have. So, I think if any of my subscribers do their nails at home, like I used to do all my nails, you guys saw, I used to wear my wonderful nails, which I miss them so much. Oh my god, I love them. Um, I just had to take a break from them. But, I would wear my nails constantly, every single day. Um, when, and when they start breaking off, I'd put them back on. Um... I'd wear a set for like two weeks and put another set on, another set. I would never give my nails like a day or two or even a week to just breathe without nails. Because for me, nails just made me feel more put together and more confident. Um, so I just constantly kept putting on nails, putting on nails, putting on nails. And was ruining the beds of my nails. Like, they're not the greatest. Um, there's still nail polish on them, but they're not the greatest. Uh, so when I took my nails off, the beginning of December I want to say or the end of November I noticed my nails were green and at first I thought oh I made a bruised it it was a, it was probably bruising um because I seen it, seen it before on my other nail and I'm like oh it's, it's just a bruise or something and so I just put nails back on uh when I took them off in November they were green they were like green green like mountain dewish kind of like darkish green um, and I was really like freaking out. I was like, oh my god, is that mold underneath my nail? Are you kidding me? What am I gonna do? And I was freaking out. Um, so I looked it up and it's like I forgot what it was called, green nail fungi or something. Uh but it's very common. It's not something to be like ashamed about or anything, because when I first had it, I was so ashamed and like I didn't want to go in public and I thought everyone would look at my nails and because they were pretty bad. Um But I guess what it is is because when you wear fake nails water and stuff gets trapped underneath them and it can't get out it can't escape so sometimes because your nail beds are so messed up from like filing and putting the nails on that they'll just grow on it um and you won't know it till you actually take off your nails and it doesn't just happen with fake nails it happens with nails at a salon too so it's not just my fault you know per se it happens with fake with nails at a salon too so I researched it and I went and got uh, Dr. G's Clear Nail Antifungal Treatment. Uh, this bottle is like 8 bucks. I got it off of eBay. And you use it. Um, the lady I watched, she used it like two times a day. And her cleared up in like two weeks. Mine must be a little bit worse because I, I, I actually forget to put this on twice a day. I put it on like maybe once a day. Um, and you just put it on and you just put it right here on your cuticle. And then you just rub it in and it gets all up in here. Um, and you can wear these with the box that you can still wear nail polish and you can still wear your fake nails. So, I was doing this, doing this, doing this religiously. Sometimes when the times I forgot. Um, and I noticed that it was okay, it was going away. I'll show it to you in a minute. It was going away. Then, stupid me decided, okay, well I gave my nails two weeks, so let's put on the fake ones. I put on the white ones that you saw that were like marble. And... I didn't think anything of it. I took them off and I was like, oh no, it's still there. It's gotten worse. Uh, it's not gotten worse, but it's still there. So I think you need to not have nails on and just keep doing this and it'll get better because I've done the nails off and started doing this again and it's been getting better. Um, I have a little bit right there. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. A little bit right there, like right there um, on that hand. Other than that, the only thing I have is the thumb on that hand. On this hand, uh, which is my right hand, I have it on three fingers. I have it on this finger. See right there? I'm trying to step away so you guys can see it. Maybe that'll be better. Right there. I have it on this hand, which is, I'm not trying to pick you guys up, I promise, uh, is the worst. It was right there, and then it goes all the way up. And then I have a little bit right there. Uh, this one actually got better because I used to have like three spots and now it's just like that one little spot and like a little dot right there. So the worst nail again is this one. This one's pretty, pretty bad. Um, it was a lot worse and a lot greener. I'm like holding it down so you can actually see the green. But um, yeah, it was, it was a lot worse than that. It was like bright, like 
green green like scary green um so I've been using this and it's been helping a lot um, I just want you guys just to be more aware of and more safe when doing fake nails or doing any kind of nails just make sure um, I went and I bought a nail brush so every time that like I eat if I went had fake nails if I ate or if I was doing something like not playing in the mud but if I was in, out in the outside playing in the mud or something or if I was feeding the cat or if I was doing something I made that made sure that right after that I would take my little brush my little nail brush and scrub 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 it underneath it and get whatever was under there gone so I think it's getting better I like I said I see my endocrinologist Monday I know she doesn't specialize in that but I'm just gonna I'm gonna ask her I'm gonna say hey this is what happened after putting on fake nails I've been using this is it okay or do I need an antibiotic because when I started getting sick I thought maybe I was getting an infection from this and maybe that's why I was getting sick um but I didn't have a fever or anything at all so I don't think that's what it is but what I do is I pop the top off and I put a little bit even on the nails that don't have it I still put it on just in case because I want to stay protected and I don't want any of this to get worse so you put it right there and then you just rub it into your cuticle and then it just absorbs into the skin and into your nail, making it go away. I assume if I didn't put the fake nails on and I actually did do what it said and not put fake nails, well, it didn't say don't put fake nails on, but if I did it twice a day and didn't forget, it probably would have been a lot better um, because I forgot and only did like once a day or sometimes I even forgot to do it at all. Um, I think that's why it's still there. Also, I did put nail polish on because I was kind of embarrassed about it. Um, but honestly, at this point, I really don't care what people think. I just want to educate people um, just so that they know. So again, put it on and then just rub. Uh, I just want them to know that it's not anything like you're not dirty. It's not bad. You shouldn't be embarrassed by it. Because at first I was like, well, do I want to tell my subscribers? And I'm like... They're going to see no nails, they're going to see me without nails, they're going to see it. And I was like, well, I can film the gloves on or something. I'm like, no. I'm like, they, they need to know this. People need to know this. Um, just so they can stay, you know, protected and stuff. So, you just put it in and it just sits there and it's all soaked in. But yeah, definitely pick up this if you are doing fake nails at home. Be very, very careful. Pick this up. I would suggest, definitely suggest picking that up. And like I would say, keep calm, read on, chop on. Be kind and sweet to each other. I love you guys and be very careful with your nails. If you have any comments, questions, or if you ever ever experienced any of this, please leave them down below. Alright, bye guys.